Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two water beverages. First up is Stars and Stripes Fruit Mist Sparkling Water Beverage Peach. Next up is Stars and Stripes Fruit Mist Sparkling Water Beverage Black Cherry. And so obviously these are both the same brand, the same type of water. They're just exactly the same. They just have a different flavor to them. And uh, they're both from the same store. They're both from Dollar Tree, which is a store that sells everything for one dollar or less. And so, like I said, they're they're exactly the same, same ingredients, same nutritional information. They both have zero carbs, zero calories, zero sugar, zero fat, and their ingredients both include carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavor, aspartame, potassium citrate, potassium benzenate and malic acid. It's all exactly the same. They both cost exactly a dollar. The only difference is the flavor. So that's really all this video is going to come down to is uh, I'm going to compare them and choose which flavor I think is better in my own opinion. So like I said, these are from the store Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree um, is a pretty huge chain actually. They have I think over 14,000 locations. Uh, worldwide to put that in perspective they have 14,000 Walmart has 11,700 so Dollar Tree is like they have more locations than Walmart you know you, you hear people joke about Walmart all the time you know like you know make parodies and jokes of Walmart and you hear about it all the time because they have commercials for it you, know, you never really hear about Dollar Tree. You never hear people having conversations about it or anything. Um, but it's they have more locations. It's kind of uh, interesting. I, it's a store actually I really like. Um, I, I just like that you know you don't have to look at the prices. Everything's one dollar. There are some other dollar stores like Family Dollar and Dollar General, which call themselves dollar stores, but they're not all a dollar. You know. Dollar General and Family Dollar, sometimes they have stuff for five or six bucks. And they, they call themselves dollar stores, but they're not, they're not really. They're phonies. Um, dollar Tree is like genuine. Everything is really just one dollar or less. So yeah, I shop there pretty regularly. And an interesting thing I've noticed is you can kind of um, track <laughs> inflation by going to the dollar store and track like the value of a dollar by going to the dollar store. When I was a little kid, like 20 or 25 years ago, uh, we would go to the dollar store and they would have cups like this for a dollar. You know, you'd, you'd get a big stack of like this for one dollar when I was a kid. And then when I was like a teenager, you'd go to the dollar store and get a stack of cups sort of like this. And now, like maybe or maybe when I was in college, you'd go to the dollar store and get this many cups. Now you go to the dollar store and they sell about this many cups for a dollar. And I just think that's kind of an interesting way of like tracking inflation because the dollar, the value of the dollar drops and they want to increase profits. So they kind of, um, the store kind of, you know, lowers their, uh, their, their quality and their quantity over time. I, I kind of predict that Dollar Tree is not going to exist or they're going to have to raise their prices eventually because 100 years from now, if inflation keeps happening, like, they're not, they're not going to sell just one cup. They're going to have to raise their prices, you know, to, um, to match inflation, right? <laughs> Um, so let's open these up and do a comparison. Here's the fruit mist. It's carbonated, so I hope it doesn't explode. Okay. I had a little trash box ready in case it exploded all over the place. That's good. That's a good amount of bubbles. Like... It shows it's carbonated, but it's not exploding all over the place. It smells like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> it's it, like it, it smells like fake fruit, kind of. 
It does say natural flavors, but it also has the fake flavors in it, too. That's pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of people, they, they think of the dollar stores. They think of just all low-quality stuff, all, like, terrible stuff. But there's actually some, you know, good stuff there. This tastes a lot like the Aldi the uh, pure aqua sparkling water from Aldi. Um, and I think it's also the same price because the Aldi one was, I think, 50 cents for one liter. And this is a dollar for two liters. So it's basically the same price. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to finish both of these, obviously. I'm not even going to come close. Yeah, a good amount of carbonation in that, too. It bubbles up, but it's not overflowing. It's not exploding. It does, it has like a cherry smell to it. Kind of like a fruit roll up or maybe a Gushers fake smell to it. This one's a lot more mild. These are both from uh, Tampa, Florida. It's where Stars and Stripes manufactures their products. Uh, this product had a an A minus on foodjucate.com. They gave it the minus because of the aspartame. Foodjucate.com does not like aspartame, so they give it a minus for that. But that's actually a pretty good score, you know, for a dollar two liter beverage. Um, this company, Stars and Stripes, they also make two liter bottles of soda that they also sell at Dollar Tree. Right on the shelf. It's on the same exact shelf as the soda. Uh, sometimes they do sell Propel and um, Nestle waters, still waters, but they don't have a big selection. I, I really prefer the Dollar Tree over the Dollar General and Dollar, a uh, family dollar. Um, just because of the simplicity. Like, I have bad eyesight. So sometimes when I look at an item at the bottom shelf, I, I can't really see the price, so I have to like kneel down to um, see the price. But I, I love just walking around, and I just grab anything, and it's, I know it's a dollar. And it's really easy to compare the, the value and the, the price of stuff when you know everything costs the same amount. It's really crazy that... Um, it can have so much flavor and be zero calories. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, there's lots of sparkling waters who do that, but still, it still kind of impresses me. And this is like a good, this is for me, a good amount of carbonation. Like Topo Chino, it hurts your throat going down. This is like a good amount. That's very similar to a soda. Okay, I'm going to go over a couple things that I would recommend and not recommend to get from a Dollar Tree. Okay, first of all, things you should not buy from a Dollar Tree store. Meat. <laughs> Sometimes they sell meat at Dollar Tree. I, I would basically tell you guys to completely avoid the frozen food section from the Dollar Tree. My, my local Dollar Tree has actually been shut down by the health department <laughs> for not properly uh, handling their food. They were literally just shut, they shut down this whole store because they didn't handle food properly. So avoid, avoid meat. There's a video on YouTube of a guy cooking a $1 steak and it just looks really gross. It looks really disgusting and it's not even a good value. Because it's like paper thin, and it's mostly just fat. Like, there's not that much meat to the steak either. And he compared it to, a, like, a 6 or $7 steak, and there's more than six times as much meat to it. So just avoid meat. I would say avoid canned vegetables, because sometimes there are, like... A, a canned corn might be 30 or $0.40 cents at Aldi, but at the dollar store they would charge a dollar. Um, avoid toilet paper 
they just overcharge for it because they sell single rolls and they just mark up the price for it. Uh, avoid headphones. Like, they, they'll have headphones that look exactly like this. They, they look perfectly fine on the shelf, but they literally, like, I, I bought a pair and they literally hurt my ears. Like, they have, like, sharp edges on them and no bass at all. Just, it, it's not worth even a dollar. Not, not even worth... Like, like, people couldn't pay me to use dollar store headphones. Because it literally just hurts. Um, so, okay, some things to buy <clears throat> from a from a dollar store for a dollar. Paint brushes, I would I would recommend. Um, there have been several times where I've painted stuff, and um, I used the dollar brushes because you don't have to clean them. I, I I'm kind of lazy, I guess. But you don't have to clean them. You just use them, and then when you're done, you just throw out the paintbrush. And they also have paint rollers. Um, so you just use it and then throw it out. It's only a dollar, so... Like, you have to say, how much is your time worth? If it takes <clears throat> 15 minutes to properly clean the brush, is your time worth 15 minutes for a dollar? And, and, and at the end, at the end, you're not going to have a perfectly clean brush anyway. Okay. Other, th other things I would recommend. Random tools. Like this. This is like a cheap $1 item from the dollar store. If you bought this from Home Depot, though, it would probably cost 6 or 7 bucks. And it's just a little joint compound, little scraper thing. And it, you know, it's well built like it's good for a dollar another thing I would recommend electrical outlets this is a dollar if you bought this on Amazon the closest thing I could find in comparison was six bucks you know it's, it's just cheap because it's free shipping and like this it's just a dollar this is like a good good value for a dollar um, other things I would recommend can opener. So I, I could go on a long rant about can openers, but there are no perfect can openers. I've, I've looked, I, I, I would be willing to spend $30 for an unbreakable can opener, but they don't exist. I, I've broken so many can openers because they're just, they're all bad. So why not just get a bad one for a dollar? Maybe this will break after opening 30 cans, but an expensive, an expensive can opener will break eventually, too. So, yeah. I, I would say just get a cheap can opener. It's a good value. Um, cleaning stuff like this. It's um, just a dollar. If you went to Target, you'd probably spend four or five bucks for the same thing. And it's just a different brand, really. Like, it's really the same stuff. Um... Shampoo. Look at this. This thing is huge. At Target, it would be, again, seven or eight bucks or whatever for, for shampoo. Because if you went to Target, it would say, oh, Pantene Pro-V, head and shoulders, or whatever. And this is just some generic, random shampoo. But it works perfectly fine. Like, a lot of the time, what you're paying for is just... You're giving them money to show you commercials on TV and to advertise it. With this, you're just giving them money for the shampoo, so it's cheaper. Um, laundry detergent? This is a dollar. If you went to Target, this would be like eight or nine bucks. But it's one dollar. Works perfectly fine. Um, so those are some things I would recommend. Uh, Febreze is another thing. Um, I, that Santa hat. There's a Santa hat right there. I've used it for like five years. It was a dollar. It's a really good good value. Uh, small toys for kids. Um, one time, I, got, I have a niece and nephew, and one time my sister told my niece, hey, if you spend an hour <clears throat> cleaning up your room and cleaning up the house, I'll give you $5. And then her and I took my niece to the Dollar Tree store, and... Um, she got five five toys 
instead of going to Target, where she wouldn't have even been able to afford one. And yes, they are cheap toys, and they probably broke that day, some of them, but it's only a dollar. And like, the, the toys from the dollar store broke after a day, but if she bought a toy from Target, she would have been bored with it after a day anyway. So it, you know, it's a better value. Toothbrushes, good from the dollar store. You can, it's not just one, you can get like, sometimes they have a 10 pack of toothbrushes for a dollar. You know, it's it's actually more like hygienic because you can use a toothbrush for a couple days and then toss it out. And it's only a dollar for several of them, so. They're both surprisingly good for only a dollar. Uh, I'm gonna say that the winner is the Black Cherry. It really just comes down to my own personal preference. In my past sparkling water videos, I've gone with Black Cherry also, just because I personally like the flavor. Just so this is an official episode of John Drinks Water, because these call themselves water beverages instead of just water, it's kind of debatable, and there's so many ingredients, it's debatable whether they're really water or not. So I'm just going to do a, a water just to make it official. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.